Ahang Mante Pi Sarame Nasaha Akta Silani Achame Tutiam Pi Ahang Mante Pi Sarame Nasaha Akta Silani Achame Tatiam Pi Ahang Mante Pi Sarame Nasaha Akta Silani Achame Namo Tassa, Bhagavato, Hato, Sama, Sambu Tassa. Namo Tassa, Bhagavato, Hato, Sama, Sambu Tassa. Namo Tassa, Bhagavato, Hato, Sama, Sambu Tassa. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa Uttang Sadatnangachame Buddhang saranang gachami Dhammang saranang gachami Dhammang saranang gachami Sankang saranang gachami Sankang saranang gachami Dutiyam pe buddhang saranang gachami Dutiyam pe buddhang saranang gachami Dotiyam pe dhamman saranang gachami Dotiyam pe dhamman saranang gachami Dotiyam pe sangham saranang gachami Dotiyam pe sangham saranang gachami Tatiyam pe bhutang saranang gachami Tatiyam pe bhutang saranang gachami Tatiyam pe dhammang saranang gachami Tatiyam pe dhammang saranang gachami Tatiyam pe sangham saranang gachami Tatiyam pe sangham saranang gachami Pi saranagamanam iti dhamm Amabante Anadipada ve atmatnisika patang samadhyame Panadipada ve ramanisika patang samadhyame Adinadana ve atmatnisika patang samadhyame Adinadana ve ramanisika patang samadhyame 
ਸਿਖਾ ਪਦੰ ਸਮਾ ਵਿਆਮ ਆਪਣਾ ਮੈਂ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਪੈਰਾ ਪੰਜੰ ਸਿਖਾ ਪਦੰ ਸਮਾ ਵਿਆਮ ਆ ਬ੍ਰਹਮ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਮੇਰਾ ਮਨੇ ਸਿਖਾ ਪਦੰ ਸਮਾ ਵਿਆਮ ਓ ਸਾਵਾਤਾ ਵਰਾ ਮਨੇ ਸਿਖਾ ਪਦੰ ਸਮਾ ਵਿਆਮ ਮੋਸਾ ਵਾਦਾ ਬੇਰਾ ਮਨੇ ਸਿਖਾ ਪਦੰ ਸਮਾਲਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਸੂਰਾ ਮਰਾਇਆ ਮਚਪਮਾ ਦਤਾਨਾ ਵਰਾ ਮਨੇ ਸਿਖਾ ਪਦੰ ਸਮਾਲਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਸੂਰਾ ਮੇਰਾਇਆ ਮਚਪਮਾ ਦਤਾਨਾ ਮੇਰਾ ਮਨੇ ਸਿਖਾ ਪਦੰ ਸਮਾਲਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਮੈਂ ਕਾਲ ਭੋਜਨਾ ਵਰਾ ਮਨੇ ਸਿਖਾ ਪਦੰ ਸਮਾਲਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਮੈਂ ਕਾਲ ਭੋਜਨਾ ਮੇਰਾ ਮਨੇ ਸਿਖਾ ਪਦੰ ਸਮਾਲਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਅਸ਼ਾ ਕੀਤਾ ਵਤੀਤਾ ਉਤਸੁਕ ਤਸਨਾ ਨਾਲਾ ਕੰਦਾ ਉਦੈਪਨਾ ਤਾਰਨਾ ਮੰਦਨਾ ਵਿਪੋਸਨਾ ਤਾਨਾ ਵੈਰਾ ਮਨੇ ਸਿਖਾ ਪਤਾ ਸਮਾਜ ਯਾਮੇ ਨਾ ਸ਼ਾਗੀ ਤਵਾਦਿਕਾ ਵਿਸੁਕ ਤਸਨਾ ਮਾਲਾ ਗੰਦਾ ਬਲੇਪਨਾ ਤਾਰਨਾ ਮੰਦਨਾ ਵਿਪੋਸਨਾ ਤਾਨਾ ਵੇਰਾ ਮਨੀ ਸਿਖਾ ਪਦੰ ਸਮਾਲਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਉਚਾ ਸੈਨਾ ਮਹਾ ਸਯਨਾ ਵੇਰਾ ਮਨੀ ਸਿਖਾ ਪਦੰ ਸਮਾਲਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਉਚਾ ਸੈਨਾ ਮਹਾ ਸਯਨਾ ਵੇਰਾ ਮਨੀ ਸਿਖਾ ਪਦੰ ਸਮਾਲਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਇਮਾਨ ਅਕਾ ਸਿਖਾ ਪਦੰ ਸਮਾਲਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਇਮਾਨ ਅਕਾ ਸਿਖਾ ਪਦੰ ਸਮਾਲਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਇਮਾਨ ਅਕਾ ਸਿਖਾ ਪਦਾ ਮੈਂ ਸਮਾਲਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਇਮਾਨ ਅਕਾ ਸਿਖਾ ਪਦਾ ਮੈਂ ਸਮਾਲਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਇਮਾਨ ਅਕਾ ਸਿਖਾ ਪਦਾ ਮੈਂ ਸਿਲੇ ਨਾ ਸੁਕਤੀ ਨਾ ਥਈ ਸਿਲੇ ਨਾ ਬੋਗ ਸੰਪਤਾ ਸਿਲੇ ਨਾ ਨਿਪੋਤਿੰਗ ਯੰਗ ਥਈ ਤਸ ਸਮਾ ਸਿਲੰਗ ਵੇ ਸੋਤਾਈ ਸਾਧ 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 Uh, which is the uh, first step towards uh, monastic life it is also uh, something that any uh, form that anyone can come and pick up uh, temporarily and Michael has been living here on the eight precepts for the last um, 10 or 11 months or so but now he's made a, a formal commitment to a whole year uh, here uh, keeping the eight precepts whether he's in the monastery or out of the monastery and wearing white all the time and have to face if you go to shit bet looking like this <laughs> much of a surprise at the locals I had to, and I had to do this so I, found, I remember finding myself in a local town actually soon after I ordained in Anangarakuri in my mother's white car and getting out of a white car dressed like this and I was falling about laughing and so it can be a challenge you know it's coming out of the closet isn't it <laughs> <laughs> <Boiling>. <laughs> training like this is a 
a way of learning that uh, isn't followed so much these days. You know, um, many times these days people are trying to follow a kind of abstract ideal or a set of ideas and yet uh, this training is a little bit different. There are these kind of boundaries of the eight precepts and then there is this uh, a following of, a, of another person, following along in the Buddhist footsteps and whatever we take that to mean. And this is a very uh, meaningful and effective way of training. Uh, and actually, interestingly, modern psychology tells us that this is the way we learn. We learn by following and by modelling ourselves on others. Um, the abstract concepts are a very limited way of learning. We tend to put all our learning and knowledge together into these uh, models in our minds, you know, models of other people, models of ourselves. So this can be to, to surrender yourself to this kind of training, whether it's for a long period, like Nikkei, a longer period, or just a temporary time, uh, spending your time in a training environment like this and following along uh, is a very effective way of deepening your practice, your, your spiritual practice. Uh, Buddha said that they keep, in keeping the eight precepts, then someone can be living like the arahants or the enlightened beings and have all the elements here for the, all the ingredients. And uh, you can, when you get to become an oligarchy, you can begin to pretend to be enlightened at least. <laughs> they keep an outward form of living the life of an enlightened person. And so the white is a, a good symbol for this, a symbol of purity, of that outer, outer cleanliness and of purity, and inner cleanliness and purity. And part of the training of the Onigarika is to keep very white. And uh, this is also a challenge, isn't it? I remember all the spilt tomato sauce and uh, the bleach, you know, lasting at night and bleaching my, my uh, wrapped or answer here for the ceremony the next day, this kind of thing. And it's all good discipline and a kind of symbol of of keeping an outer purity, despite the fact, you know, of course, we can all make mistakes like tomato sauce and then we can we can wash them away. So uh, uh, Nico will be retaking these precepts every week like he has been, so he'll still be carrying on, retaking the precepts every week, reaffirming. So uh, the precepts are essentially to help us to uh, uh, let go of the things of the world and uh, to realise this state called samadhi, which is where the mind is withdrawn from the senses into itself, into its own nature. Och träcka sinnen väck från det världsliga. Väck väck från allt det som föregår runt omkring i världen. Och in i sig själv. Och för att öppna för hjälp. Jag menar att vara till hjälp för att träna sinnen i samadhi. Alltså meditation, meditativ koncentration. Vår sinne är går in över. Och vår sinne är stilla och fredlig. So when we realize this kind of inner space, we can then, uh, when we come out of the samadhi, then we realize that this is a, a space with which we can then embrace the things of the world anew with a new, fresh, uh, pure mind. I samadhi, in medit meditativ in meditation, so can we oppleve and be clear over this indre room. When we so come out of meditation, Ut av samadhi så kan vi bruka detta så detta kan vi bruka detta perspektivet så det ger oss ett nytt syn på världen utanför. Uh, Mikael is already has been very diligent in his practice of meditation or his practice of the life uh, here as a whole. He's been so meditating, studying and working in the kitchen is about all he's been doing actually while he's been here. <coughs> Mikael har varit väldigt uh, har stått väldigt på sedan han har kommit hit. Med sin meditationspraxis och så hjälpte till i klostret, hjälpte till att meditera, 
Man mediterar, jobbar till kökena. Det är er allt han har gjort. Mm. <coughs> and it's been helping to manage through the the uh, effects of his cancer that he had a few years ago. So now he's been struggling along, having double vision and not swallowing very well sometimes, not walking very well sometimes. So it's been very, very inspiring <laughs> to see. Inspirerende for oss også å se hvordan Mikkel har vært, hvordan han har, den innsatsen han har gjort. Han er, eh, de som ikke vet det, da hadde han, eh, hadde han, han hatt kreft tidligere, og som følge av det så har eh, han eh, dobbelt syn, og eh, det blir vanskelig for å gå, og noen ganger blir vanskelig for å svelge, og det er kanskje noe som mange ikke har lagt merke til, fordi han har har varit så flink till att integrera sig i i i i livet här och gjort en sån insats för att för att hålla det gående så det är väldigt inspirerande för oss att se. Så Mika was someone who wanted to be a monk before the cancer and he went to Thailand discovered he had cancer and uh, wanted to be a monk and uh, he's kept going through all of that. Han dro til Thailand og var interessert å bli munk. Og så oppdaget han at han hadde kreft. Men han ga seg ikke for det. Så han har holdt det gående gjennom alt dette. Så jeg tror vi er på vei til å gå til Dakar nå. Og vi har satt Mikkel her i front. Consider yourself hugged. Yes. I was ordained as a monk, so there came a lady up to me and said, "You can let this, you can let this, you can let this be as a clemma." Yeah, I don't know. 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 I don't know.